Well, unless you've been living in a cave, you know that the Gators are in the NCAA tournament. They're now in the Sweet 16. You sure you don't want to talk about spring football? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. You were in Syracuse. Tell us about it. Syracuse is a great place to watch a basketball game, and uh, it was really... It was a great place for the Gators. It's a great arena and everything. And let me tell you this about yesterday. The Gators wore their orange uniforms, the road uniforms, because Syracuse wears orange at home. And all the Syracuse fans that were there for the second game so started, 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 started rooting for the guys in orange. They're just used to it. But anyway, nobody really gave them much of a chance. Their first time in the NCAA tournament, then they pulled off the win over North Carolina State on Friday. Now, people took notice, but a lot of them said, just wait till the big boys from the Big Ten get a hold of them. Well, Purdue's going back home to Indiana, and the Gators are going on to New York. But the Gators' 85-66 win over the Boilermakers was more than just a culmination of effort over a great season. It was the result of six years of a struggle to build a winning basketball program at Florida. Memories of Norm Sloan's second season at Florida, the 5-22 year, are now just that, memories. For after making it to the NCAA tournament for the first time and making it to the Sweet 16, Florida basketball has arrived. I think that uh, it arrived in the sense that we're, we're one of the fine teams in the country and in the sense that we have a beautiful facility and we're in a great league and got tremendous crowds and support you know from that point those points of view we've arrived there's been a lot of people that have have put a lot into this building this program and have suffered a little long and hard so to speak so uh, this i'm just happy for a lot of folks Two of those folks are seniors on this year's team, Joe Lawrence and Andrew Moten. They've been through some of the ups and downs of the Gator program. Now they're enjoying the rewards. Well, when I first got here, you know, we went to the NIT two years in a row, got knocked off in the first round, and last year we go to the NIT Final Four, the program's starting to pick up, and now all of a sudden we're in the Sweet 16. You know, it's just uh, been a tremendous progression for this program, and it's something that I've been working for for four years to try to get this program at this level, and uh, I'm really pleased right now, but uh, I'm not satisfied, and I hope we can go you know, win a couple more games, get to the Final Four, and then you never know what happens. This is our first guy who they had no cards at all. Um, I came in and I helped the team a lot. Then we recruited Vernon Maxwell, and Vernon played uh, outstanding basketball here at the University of Florida. And then we got the big guy, Dwayne, and, and we got some other players who was just contributing a lot to this team. And uh, everything just came in and started working. And along with guys like Lawrence and Moten and Maxwell and McClary, Perhaps the guy who became the final piece in the puzzle, an 18-year-old freshman who turned down over 100 other schools to try and build a winner at Florida. That was one main reason in, in my attending the University of Florida. Um, it's a program that's on the rise. We got such great players that, you know, any given night, anyone could come in and perform well. And we're just, we're doing nothing but rising like, you know, Florida's supposed to. This team can definitely go farther than the 16. Um, I feel we can get into the final eight and then hopefully the final four and then hopefully win it all. I just think that we've gotten we've gotten better people in the program, better players. It's just become just gradually just gradually built up. You know, people when Sloan came back here, they thought that he was going to turn around in one or two years, and he just don't do that anywhere. No program gets turned around in national promise in one or two years. But you know, now it's in the sixth or seventh year. I don't even know what it is, but uh, now I think it's uh, going to be consistently a top 20 team. You know, you got Cinches here, who definitely looks like the premier big man in the country over the next three years, and it's just something that. Uh, that I'm going to enjoy watching in a couple, in a couple years so down the road, knowing that I helped build this up. From 5-22 five, five years ago to two wins away from a trip to the Final Four, the Gator program has been a true success story. And the days when basketball at Florida was just a nice little tour between football and spring football are now over. Speaking of spring football, the Gators did hit the field today for their first day of drills. Florida looking to improve on that 6-5 and five season that really was a disappointment to most last year. Quarterback Kerwin Bell is back for his senior season, once again being mentioned as a possible Heisman Trophy candidate. The Gators do have some holes to fill, like at the offensive line where All-American Jeff Zimmerman has moved on, and at safety where Adrian White has gone. The Gators will work out up till the annual Orange and Blue game April 11th at Florida Field. And free agent outfielder Tim Raines is reportedly close to signing with the San Diego Padres for this Major League Baseball season. Reports out of Southern California say Reigns has offered his services to the Pods for one year at a figure between $1.3 and $1.5 million. Earlier this year, the Padres offered Reigns the choice of two different contracts, one for $2.2 million over two years, the other for $5.5 million over three years, and he just turned down a $1 million contract offer with the Houston Astros this past weekend, Ari, and you know, a lot of teams could use Tim Reigns. I don't know why it's taken so long for somebody to sign it. It's an amazing, actually, guy that time. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks, Ken. We'll be back in one minute. <laughs> Thank you.